Hey everyone, it's Year One Blink here. We're back with another YouTube video. Today's video, I got an exotic review of the Sanguine Alchemy. And um, I looked up what the meaning Sanguine means. So Sanguine means optimistic or positive, especially in apparently bad or difficult situations. So yeah, that's gonna play into part by its exotic perk or whatever. There is power in blood. Okay, for the main perk, we have heightened senses. Standing in the rift grants enhanced radar, marks high priority targets for you and your allies. On paper, this exotic really doesn't sound that good, but when you actually try it out in the crucible, it could literally dominate in some points. You could like dominate um, control points and things, so yeah. Let's get into the video. We're going to go into PvE first. It's just going to be one clip because I was trying to use it and it just wasn't really doing anything, so yeah. These are just some shaders for you guys, just showing them off what it looks like in different shaders and that type of thing so yeah more reviews coming soon subscribe guys all right i feel like most of the warlock exotics are actually better than this one in pve but that's just my opinion so yeah if you want to raid and do stuff with that you can still use it but i don't think it's going to be your best choice You're better off with those exotic boots that the warlock has because at the end of the day, it just gives you enhanced radar and maybe King Scout from Destiny 1 when you stand inside your rift and it marks targets. So I guess it's alright, but but yeah, I'm going to give it like a 2 out of 10 for PvE, so not a good start for this. PvP, rift is really OP, so I feel like it's a different story in PvP. Um, you can literally change games with this exotic and swing momentum, some momentum swinger, so yeah. That's what I really do enjoy about that. That guy got a grenade to the face, and my teammate helped me with that. And it also helps your teammates mark targets too, so I'm gonna try to rush this guy right here, but I'm gonna get his friend and just get killed by him, but I still got the kill, so right there you guys can see how you can take advantage of that. I feel like this exotic is really good and really top tier because um, some of the Warlock exotics, I just feel like they don't have that much improvement on your uh, actual abilities or skills or any of that really because when I do use this I can actually see a visual difference between my rift and when I'm not using it like my enhanced capabilities are not like as good because this one actually tracks targets as you guys can see I know where that guy's at I'm gonna see this guy and I'm actually suppressed take him out too so when I play I usually pop my rift around the control points usually at B because people like to rush there and then when they rush you you can usually know where they're at and you can outgun them and um, it's really good for defensive measures against people that are attacking you so yeah so if you feel like you're about to get rushed by multiple enemies pop a rift and get ready and just wait because it'll actually just track them as you guys can see right here and we'll take that guy out and it actually helped us win that battle to win the um, little mini fight right there so yeah Rifts actually come in real handy in capturing points in this game, so yeah. And having an advanced rift with advanced radar for you and your allies just makes everything that much easier. Also, it's a really good for shotgunning and like just rushing people and knowing where they're at. And it's also really good if you're playing ranked because actually you don't have a radar and it shows where people are at even though without the radar, which I'll show later on in the gameplay. So if you're wearing this in rank, you actually have somewhat of a radar, but only on your screen instead of an actual radar. You want to keep in mind that you kind of want to pop it if they rush you. You don't want to pop it early because um, cause the rift only tracks targets that are kind of close to you. So you want to pop it when they're getting kind of close. So yeah, that's my little tip for you guys. But one downfall about this is that the rift does take a little while to come back. So... When you are using this exotic, you can only use it when the rift is up, and that's uh, maybe 20% of the time, or 30% maybe, I'm not sure, I need to test it out, so yeah. So I'm going to show off this last game clip that's going to show how good this chess piece is in ranked without the radar. So you guys see this game, it's 3-2, to two. we're about to lose, it's about to go to sudden death, and they still have 4 people alive, we only have 2 left. And I'm gonna take this guy out. And we're gonna pop a rift right here. So we popped a rift, it's 3v2. We're looking around for these guys. My teammate actually found him. 
I don't know if you've seen him from my rift or what, but I found him in my rift. And I blink out of that situation, somehow get away, take him out. I got a Nova to save the game. It's over. GG's. Goodbye. 10 out of 10. Ranked exotic. Let's go, baby. Thank you.